from your host, Les Dennis. Thank you, good evening, and welcome to Family Fortunes. We've got two great families hoping to go all the way to big money with a chance of winning up to £5,000 and a choice of star prize. Either this top-of-the-range family estate or an amazing holiday for up to 12 people. This week's Sun International Holiday is at La Coco Beach on the east coast of Mauritius, where you'll find a glittering array of sporting and leisure activities, or you can just laze around in the sun. Come and meet Rob. Rob Fenella, top six answers. We asked 100 people to name something people eat with onions. Rob. Cheese. Cheese and onions. <laughs> and don't you know it, after. <laughs> top answer, Rob, what are you going to do? Uh, play, play, rejoin, no conferring, and of course the Davis family, think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal later on. Ben, you have a particular nickname in your family. Oh yeah, well they all call me at our workplace, call me Ben Green the Love Machine. Ben Green <laughs> the Love Machine. Hey, <laughs> bit of Barry White <laughs> creeping in you know there. what it is, it's like I say on Valentine's, I always have Valentine's Day off to spend with my girlfriend. You take the day off? Yeah, I take the day off every year. Every year? Spend with my girlfriend, go out for a nice meal, buy flowers chocolates and we have a good night out. That's fantastic. That's you think it's fantastic. It's a different girl every year. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Her name's Tracy. Tracy. Yeah. Isn't he romantic? You're the romantic man of the year. Okay, Ben, what do you think? Uh, burgers. Burgers? Yes, hot dog or burgers. You get a prize, Ben. What have we got, Peter? Remember this? You won't have to now because you've won a fantastic digital camcorder. Okay. Yeah, you take all your Valentine's days. Oh, well, Hi, Carol. Hello, Les. What do you think? Um, steak. Steak and onions. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, that was Noel Coward's favourite meal. We went to all these posh restaurants and steak and onions was his favourite meal. Oh, right. Bit of trivia there for you. <laughs> Hi, Reuben. Hi, Les. How are you doing? You're a teacher and a voluntary teacher, so you do two jobs, teaching. I do, Les. Right. I do. I work in the week as a teacher, as a computer teacher. And then at the weekends, I do voluntary work, teaching more kids again. Right. OK, Reuben, what do you think? Um, salad, Les. Salad. <laughs> So, we lose a life on it. Hi, Simon. Hi, Les. Got an answer for me? Um, a stew. Stew dish. Stew? Uh, yeah, just cooking a stew. Okay. Uh, a stew with onions in. <laughs> Two lives have gone, so it means the Davises might steal. I think what you have to think is something and, and onions. Yeah. Oh, well, not necessarily, because hot dog is smothered yeah. in onions. Rob? Beef. Beef and, beef and onion. Beef and onions! Three lives have gone. The Davises get a chance to steal. Henrietta? Spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. Onion gravy. Onion gravy, Olivia. Pizza. Elliot. Pizza. Pizza. Liver and Sorry. onions. Liver and onions. Vanilla? Um, onion gravy. Onion gravy. We said that along there. Which one are you going to go with? Uh, liver. Liver. Okay, mm -hmm. liver and onions. If it's one of the three missing answers, you have the money in the bag. To steal liver and onions. <laughs> yes, well played. Thank you for well done. You have 66 pounds. Missing answers number six is tripe and onions. I've never had that in my life. Do people really still eat it? Yeah. You ever eaten it? Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Answer number five on something people eat with onions is... Sausage and onions. Let's play on round two. <laughs> Meet Charlotte. Okay. Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name a song from The Sound of Music. <laughs> it's about to sing it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> We could have done the whole show. We could have done all of them, performed them all. Maria. Maria! That was the name of one of the characters, but it wasn't one of the songs. Ben. No, time's up. So, stay where you are, and you answered first. So, Elliot, have you got a song from The Sound of Music? Uh, no, Les. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got a clue. Do you want to have a guess? Uh... Dancing Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Julie Andrews, the Dancing Queen. <laughs> so, Carol, can you say this question? Uh, the Hills Are Alive. The Hills Are Alive? <laughs> the Hills Are Alive with the sound of music. It's a top answer. What are you going to do? Play our pass. You play? Play. 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 <laughs> okay, enjoy your family. No conferring. The Davis family takes the answers in case you get a chance to steal. Ruben, what do you think? I've got a song for you. Um, I wake up each morning. <laughs> How's it going, Ruben? You want me to sing? Yeah. <laughs> I wake up each morning. <laughs> yeah, I think that was Christopher Plummer who sang that oh, one, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I wake up each morning. <laughs> we lose a life. Simon. Hmm. 
Let me think carefully on this one, Les. OK. I don't want to mess up. All right. Uh, <laughs> the skies are blue, Les. <laughs> the hills are alive and the skies are blue. <laughs> Two lives have gone, so the day this is my Nick in. Rob. Over the hills and far away. <laughs> We've got the audience laughing, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we are the audience <laughs> Over the hills and far away. No, so a chance for the Davis family to get back in line. Henrietta. Uh, virgin. <laughs> well, she was in, in, in a nunnery for a while, so, you know, like a virgin. I would sing it, but Edelweiss. Edelweiss? <laughs> oh. Elliot. Uh, is there one called Do Re Mi? <laughs> Charlotte. Lonely goat herd. Lonely goat herd. Vanilla. 16 going on 17. 16 going on 17. Um, Which one are you going to go for? Edelweiss. OK, if Edelweiss is one of the missing answers, then you have the money in the bank. We're looking for Edelweiss. Yes! Yeah. Well done. Well played, Vanilla. The missing answers at last. <laughs> Answer number six is... <laughs> climb every mountain. Answer number five is... <laughs> these are a few of my favourite things. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Do you know that one? Uh, yeah. That? yeah, Elliot's going, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Obviously, the film isn't one of your favourite things. Answer number four is... The Lonely Goat Herd, which Charlotte said. And answer number two on a song from The Sound of Music. Is it 16 going on 17? Let's have a look. It is... Do a dear, do re me. We put do a dear, but I think it is actually called do re me. But that's what our 100 people surveyed said. So, a good round. Let's play on round three. All right, top six answers. We asked 100 people to name a word for a very hot day. Boiling. Boiling. Yes, it's there, but there's no popular one. Carol. Blazing. 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 <laughs> no, it isn't there, so you have control. What are you going to do? Play. 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 Rejoin, no conferring. And, of course, the Green family. Think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal. Olivia. Scorcher. A scorcher. Scorcher, yeah. an answer. It's a top answer. Well played, Olivia. We have a prize for you, Peter. It's home entertainment with cinema quality. You've won a state-of-the-art DVD player. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. This quality is fantastic on DVD. Hello, Henrietta. Hello, Liz. You had a rabbit when you were little. Yeah, I had and a what rabbit. what happened to it? When I was about four or five, I had a rabbit called Rupert. Okay. I loved this rabbit. He was the best. He's my bestest friend. Rupert is normally a bear's name now. I know. You... I copied it off that. It okay. Rupert anyway, he got sick one day and he went to the vets. And it wasn't until four years later, I went to my mum and said, oh, isn't it a lovely place my rabbit's in? And she said, oh, it's a nice thing to say about God. And at that point, my sister walked round in saying, ha ha, he's dead! <laughs> four years later? <laughs> it took me four years to, I know, I'm so naive. <laughs> you mean he was he'd been dead four years and you were yeah. just wondering when he's coming back from the vets? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know, think of the bill. <laughs> I think of the bill. Yeah. Of course, thinking, oh, it's going to cost so much money. Yeah. All right, Henry, what do you think? Just sunny. Sunny day. No, so we lose a life on it. Four answers to find. Vanilla. Sweltering. It's sweltering. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we have a prize for you as well, Peter. Vanilla, you've won a health spa, two-day break for two, in a stately home at Hoare Cross in the heart of rural Staffordshire. <laughs> yeah. Well done. You had a holiday romance, Charlotte, but it ended up more than a holiday romance. It did indeed. I'm a good example for a holiday romance that worked out because I ended up marrying mine. Did you? Although it nearly didn't work out because he told me when we were on holiday that he was a fireman. So one of the main attractions to me was that he would have a uniform. When we got back, he realised he had to tell me the truth and he wasn't indeed because we only lived 40 miles apart. Really? <laughs> yeah. And this was in Rhodes that you met? It was indeed, yeah. And then you got married? Two years ago. Fantastic. Excellent. And you want him to be a fireman? Or I just dress up with one at the end yeah. of the night. If you could get the uniform, that'd be lovely. Oh, but, right, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm sure he's at home thinking, OK, I can play that game. <laughs> OK, Charlotte, what do you think? Humid. Humid. <laughs> Two lives have gone, so will the green steal. What do you think? A word for a very hot day. We had very hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would imagine that... <laughs> As we're looking for a word, and as it's a word that describes a very hot day, I should think it'll be a different word to a very hot day. Uh, I've got one, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Steaming. Steaming. Elliot, steaming. <laughs> Three lives have gone. The green's back in line. So, Simon, what do you think? Uh, very hot day, Les. <laughs> <laughs> you don't listen to a blind word, I'm telling you. Ruben. Pipe in, Les. Pipe in. Carol. Blazing. Blazing. We look for that. Ben. Bubbling. Bubbling. Squirtering. 
Sweltering. Sweltering? Mm. As opposed to sweltering. We're looking for s oh. sweltering with a Q in it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to go with, Rob? Um, piping. Piping? OK, if it's a piping hot day, then it's one of the missing answers and you have the money in the bank. A piping hot day? <laughs> no, so... Half of the show, the missing answer is number six. Unusual. <laughs> answer number five is roasting, and answer number four on a word for a very hot day is a baking day. Okay, it means at the halfway stage, the Green family have no money in the bank, but don't worry, it can all change in double money, and the Davises are in the lead with 208 pounds. Time for us to take a break now. Join us in a couple of minutes for Double Money, Big Money, and when one of our families will stand a chance of winning £5,000 and either the car or the holiday. We'll see you then. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's play Double Money. OK, Ruben. Meet Olivia. Double money. All the answers revealed. There were twice the price there were before the break. Top five answers in this first game. We asked 100 people to name something associated with a lifeboat. <laughs> Olivia. A lifeguard. A lifeguard. <laughs> Crew is answer number one. <laughs> what do you want to do? Play, play, play. play. Rejoin, no conferring. So, the Green family think of some answers. Henrietta. Life jacket. A yes. life jacket. Yes, well played. <laughs> Camilla. Uh, C. The C. Yes, we're going well. Charlotte. The RNLI. The RNLI. <laughs> Charity, well played. It's answer number five, and you get a prize. Peter. Charlotte, you've won a fantastic weekend away for two at a luxury hotel in the heart of the North Yorkshire National Park. <laughs> hey, well played. Hey. Elliot. Get this answer, you're playing big money. Flares. OK. They wear flares. The crew wear a lot of big flares. Yeah, <laughs> We're sending up flares. <laughs> we lose a life. Olivia, got to go carefully. Um, an accident at sea. An accident at sea. <laughs> Two lives have gone. Henrietta. The people they rescue. OK, people they rescue. If it is the missing answer, you're playing big money. People they rescue. <laughs> yeah! Well done. You're playing big money. The green is hard luck you didn't get in, Rob. You've been a smashing family. You're going back to Nottingham or staying here yeah. with a camcorder, but sadly no money. You've been a great family. with the great, the Greens. <laughs> OK, Fernanda, well done. Thank you. You're going to play for the car or do you want to fly Air Mauritius on holiday? The car. OK, who's going to play? My sister Charlotte and my sister Olivia. Charlotte and Olivia, join me at the mic. <laughs> Play first, Olivia, go and put the headset on. We'll call you back when we're ready for you. You're going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer. The time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Yeah. Good luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> name a boy's name beginning with the letter J. Jason. Something associated with rabbits. Hutch. A food that can be eaten fried. Egg. Something with a flame. Fire. A drink that really quench quenches your thirst. Orange juice. OK, well played. <laughs> with the answers, let's see how we did. First of all, I asked his name, a boy's name beginning with the letter J. You said... Jason, our survey said... Eleven people said Jason. Something associated with rabbits, you said... Hutch, our survey said... Eight people said Hutch. A food that can be, can be eaten fried, you said... An egg, our survey said... That's the top answer, that's the number 45, we're going well now. You can smile. Something with a flame, you said... Fire, our survey said... 81, two top answers. A drink that really quenches your thirst. You said. Orange juice, our survey said. 27, 108, two top answers. We join your family, we'll clear the board. And bring Olivia back. <laughs> Hi, Olivia. Charlotte got 108 and two top answers. She did really well. So if you find 92 points, you'll get the £5,000. And the three top answers on top of that will get you the car as well. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You get 20 seconds. If you duplicate any of the answers we've had, you'll hear this sound. I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've had? I'm going to have 20 seconds on the clock, please. Good luck. <laughs> name a boy's name beginning with the letter J. Jack. Something associated with rabbits. Um, a hutch. Another. Um, carrots. A food that can be eaten fried. A chips. Something with a flame. Um, a firework. A, a drink that really quenches your thirst. Um, water. All right, well played. <laughs> Okay. Go on, Mammy. Let's see how we did. If we're going for the car, we need answer number one, number two, and number five to flash. Okay. okay.
first question was a boy's name beginning with the letter J. You said Jack. We'd already had Jason. That was worth 11. If this flashes, you're online for the car. You said Jack. Our survey said nine people said Jack. The top answer was John right. and was worth 46. So we can't get the car, but we can go for the £5,000. Jack sometimes is another name for John, but we had it separately because nowadays it's a separate name. Something associated with rabbits. You said carrots. Our survey said 24. It was the top answer. Okay. <laughs> we got 141, we need 59. A food that can be eaten fried. We'd already had the top answer. You said chips. Our survey said 18. <laughs> we got 159, we need 41. Something with a flame. You said. Again, we'd had the top answer, but you said a firework. Our survey said <laughs> nothing for firework. The final question.